In my other video where I went through how you could declassify your DJI Mini 4 Pro and other drones that have the C classification, that video just raised so many questions and the comments field were just exploding with all these misconceptions and questions and confusions. I thought that I need to make a video where I really go through the classifications of the drones and the flight category. So we know exactly what to do and how it affects us, whatever we do. So first of all, these rules are under the EASA, that is the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. And then we have to check what countries that actually are members of this. And in my previous video, I was not 100% correct there. So I've checked that up as well. And please just make sure that you don't take any legal advices from this video because that is not the case. I'm just going through everything that I can find. So the member states of EASA are the EU countries. And then we have Norway, Liechtenstein, Iceland and Switzerland. All these countries are directly affected by it. And more important, when you are in any of those countries, you will see the 120 meters height limitation in the DJI remote whenever you have the remote updated to the latest firmware, because that 120 meters is the limitation you have of a C0 drone when you go into 2024. In the video where I said that you definitely should declassify your drone before the last of December 2023, I still stand behind that to 100% because there is no downside as far as I know to do these declassification. However, what confused me quite a bit in this process was that you get an information that if you for some reason, I don't say that you should, but if you for some reason decide that you would like to classify your DJI Mini 4 Pro again after last of December 2023, the drone will become a C1 drone instead of a C0 drone. And that just didn't make any sense at all. And I contacted DJI support, I contacted other people that I know, and no one could actually answer that question. But I found the answer and I'm gonna share that with you in this video. But before I do that, we need to go through these subcategories, the A1, A2, A3, and then after that, these C classifications, we know how this all is linked together. So first of all, when you have a drone that is flying in A1 category, for example, you're allowed to fly over people, but not as samples of people. If you have a drone that is flying in the A2 category, you can fly close to people, and A3, you have to fly far from people. So the subcategories A1, A2, A3, those are in the open category. And the open category is where the majority of all drones will go because if you have drones will end up in specific categories first if you would like to fly higher than 120 meters and other things like that and it's just super complicated so i'm not even going to touch that but when you are in the open category and you have a1 a2 a3 the main difference is that if you are in a1 you can fly over people but not assemble of people if you fly in a2 you can fly close to people and a3 you have to fly far away from people so let's focus on a1 category category because that is where very many drones like the DJI Mini 4 Pro will fall under because the A1 category is for drones that is sub 500 grams. The first section is all drones that are below 500 grams and then you have less regulation for drones that are below 250 grams. And this doesn't have anything to do with the C classification so this is also for non-classified drones that are put on the market before the end of 2023. And for drones below 250 grams, you can, as I said, fly over people, but not assemble of people. If the drone don't have any camera or any sensor and it's considered as a toy, then you don't need to have a drone operator registration. But as soon as it has a camera on board and it's not a toy, then you need to have a drone operator registration. And then we have the next section that is the drone pilot certification. When you have a sub 250 gram drone, you don't need to have any specific remote pilot competence. The only thing you need to know is to know the basics. You are recommended of course to read the manual but you don't need to have a drone license. However if the drone is 250 grams and over up to under 500 grams then you need to have a drone license. And when you have a drone that is 250 grams and over, the pilot needs to be at least 16 years old. When you have a drone that is below 250 grams and don't have a C classification, then there is no minimum age limit. The 16 years old limit can be reduced to 12 years in specific countries by the countries themselves. You need to check that if that is the case. Then we have the A2 category. That category is for drones that is 500 
kilograms and over up to under two kilos. And then we have the A3 category that is for drones from two kilos up to below 25 kilos. Those are the subcategories. And then we have to just clear out the question, what is a drone operator versus a drone pilot? On EASA's website, it says that a drone operator is any person or organization who owns or rents one or more registered drones. So that is the personal organization that owns the drone that is responsible for it, that is the drone operator. Then we have the drone pilot. The drone pilot is the person actual flying the drone without necessarily owning or renting the drone. So that is basically the person that is holding the controller and control the drone. So now let's go through the C standards. So C0, that is for the DJI Mini 4 Pro, for example, that is for drones under 250 grams. It flies in A1 subcategory or can also fly in A3. When it comes to operation restrictions, you have no flights over assembles of people. You have to maintain a flight altitude below 120 meters above ground level. So notice that it says above ground level, not from the takeoff point. So the DJI Mini 4 Pro and other drones, they are measuring the height from the takeoff point. So if you're hiking or climbing up a mountain or a hill and that hill is 50 meters up, well then you just have 70 meters left until you reach the height limit of the drone if it's limited to 120 meters, even though you actually have another 120 meters up from that position. When it comes to drone operator registration, you don't need to be registered unless the drone has a camera or a sensor and is not a toy and that is basically all drones. You need to be a registered drone operator. When it comes to remote pilot competence, it just says read carefully the user manual. So you don't need to be a drone pilot to fly those drones that have a C0 label. When it comes to the pilot minimum age, you have 16 years, no minimum age if drone is a toy. And that 16 year age limit can be low to 12 years in specific countries, but that is decided by the country. So that is a big difference. Also, if you have a declassified drone that doesn't have the label, you don't have an age restriction for drones under 250 grams, as long as they are put on the market before 31st of December 2023. So now let's take a look at C1. That is for drones that are sub 900 grams. So then the question is, why is this DJI Mini 4 Pro suddenly becoming a C1 drone if you for some reason decide to reclassify it after last of December 2023. This is where it becomes interesting because it says that the subcategory is A1. You can also fly in subcategory A3. So that is the same as A0. When it comes to operational restrictions, there is an add-on for C1 that you don't have for C0. And that is that it says on C1, no flight expected over uninvolved people. If it happens, overflight should be minimized. So that is a limitation you have in C1 that you don't have in C0. Otherwise it's the same, no flights over assembles of people and maintain the flight altitude below 120 meters above ground level. However, you always need to have a drone operator registration. So you don't have any exception as you have for C1, but that doesn't really matter when it comes to these DJI drones. However, when it comes to remote pilot competence, it says that you have to obtain a proof of completion for online training for A1, A3 open subcategory for completing the online training and passing the online theoretical exam. So you need to have a drone license for any drones that have a C1 one label and above. So that is a big difference. If you declassify this one, suddenly if you classify it again, I don't recommend you to ever do that. But if you do, you suddenly need to have a drone license for it. So now to the main question in this video, why is the DJI Mini 4 Pro, that is a C0 drone becoming a C1 drone, if you were to decide to classify it again after you have declassified it latest last of December 2023? And there is a hint to this when it comes to the flight altitude, because when you have a C0 classification, the drone is limited to fly up to 120 meters. When you declassify your drone, the limit is adjusted up to 500 meters and you get a warning in the remote whenever you drag that slider above 120 meters. So I thought it must be something that has to do with that rather than the weight of the drone, because we still can't buy the plus batteries for these ones. So it's not that they are pre-classified to run and fly with the plus batteries. So when I was digging through all of these documents, including the appendix, 
I could find that for the C0 drones, it says there are many things that are stated and many requirements here, but when it comes to C0 drones, it says that a class C0 UAS shall comply with the following. And one of them is that it have a maximum attainable height above the takeoff point limited to 120 meters. So that's why you have that limitation in the drone when it's classified to C0. When I then read in the appendix for the C1 drones, then it says that a class 1 UAS shall comply with the following, have a maximum attainable height above the takeoff point limited 120 meters. So that is the same, but there is some add-ons to this. It says, or be equipped with a system that limits the height above the surface or the takeoff point to 120 meters, or to a value selectable by the remote pilot. Oh, so we have something here. We suddenly are allowed to have a value that is selectable by the remote pilot. If the value is selectable, clear information about the height of the UA above the surface or takeoff point during flight shall be provided to remote pilot. So that is most likely the reason why the DJI Mini 4 Pro is becoming a C1 drone because DJI is unlocking that feature to fly above 120 meters and it will not lock down that again after you have declassified your drone. So you will still have the possibility to fly up to 500 meters, but because of that, you can't classify the drone as a C0 drone anymore. It becomes a C1 drone. So that is the reason. Hopefully this video cleared out all those questions so you know why and how and that it's still no risk to declassify your drone latest December 31st, 2023. Next thing to do, that is to see in chat in that video because that is the video I created just for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.